skiing. This time of year is very big for many of us who live here in Idaho. Before hitting the slopes, we know to dress in layers, yep. wear head and eye protection, and use good equipment. But what else should we have with us to be prepared on the mountain? Tonight, our Tammy Tremblay continues her backcountry survival series focusing on ski resorts. Hitting the slopes is an Idaho pastime. A lot of us stay inbounds, enjoying the marked runs. Others are looking for access to the backcountry. Once you leave these gates, you're actually into the Forest Service. John Postlewaite is the director of Ski Patrol and Risk Management here at Bogus Basin. He says there are added dangers out here that typical inbound skiers can even be faced with. When we start seeing snow like this, we start running into that issue of someone seeing a powder line, going for that powder line, unknowingly ducked a rope, and uh, Bogus Basin being at the top of the mountain means there's a long way to go that can drag you away from this mountain. And you can find yourself stuck with brush, trees, and goalies. Gets packed out, people get wallowed in and have a tough time getting out. It happened to Remington Kendall a few years ago. He unknowingly skied out of bounds and was found 14 hours later. The Parma High grad tells us, I wasn't prepared as this was a last second trip. Was just going to take a couple quick runs. Lesson learned. Here's what you want to have in a small day pack before you head out. Food and water, some form of navigation, sun protection, and illumination like a flashlight. You'll also want to have first aid and fire supplies. If you get lost, Postal Weight says you'll need them. And believe it or not, they get missing person calls almost daily. And right now you have someone that Ski Patrol is out looking for. Correct. We got a, a notification from Ada County that there was a missing person. Uh, they called us. We're triangulating through them and working around and currently sending patrollers through the area of concern trying to locate the individual. He says usually it's an easy situation. Someone took a run and now can't find their group. Everyone is still inbounds and safe. But some calls are more serious, so Postal Weight says you have to be ready. What would you say is the first thing you should do if you find yourself lost? So the first thing you should do is stay put. Because um, once you keep traveling, if you don't know where you're traveling to, all you're doing is putting distance between yourself and the rescuer. The second thing to do is to get help on the way. If no one knows you're there, then we need to get that information to us so that we can start sending you help. If you have no cell phone reception, Postal Weight says keep it on anyway because your phone can still be pinged by rescuers. You can also use the flash on your camera to flag down help. That's what Kendall did to a snow cat. But what if nothing seems to be working and day is turning to night? Well, at that point, you want to just create a barrier between you and the elements. A perfect place for you to hunker down would be a big tree like this. Finding one with a lot of branches, it'll protect you from the elements. Also, there's a lot of snow here. You can see it's easy to kick down. And this right here, if you create just a little bit of a cave for yourself, it'll help protect you until help arrives. But if you stay put and conserve that energy and stay warm and stay dry, that's going to give us a larger window to come out and find you. Postal Weight says they'll get to you as soon as they can. If you're out of bounds, the local sheriff's office will take over the search. Idaho Mountain Search and Rescue may also be called. The conditions, though, have to be taken into account. We want to make sure our rescuers are safe, so safety of the team before we go out. And that's how we assess if we're going to be able to attend to that incident that evening, or maybe we have to put some other precautions into place to make that safe for the rescuers. In Boise County, Tammy Tremblay, Idaho's News Channel 7. You're probably going to be staying in bounds now, aren't you? I know I am. Some other advice, if you're stuck in the elements waiting for help, stay calm, pace yourself, use the tools you have, like your skis and poles to dig out shelter. You can eat the snow to stay hydrated, but don't eat too much because it could drop your body temperature.